Hello everybody and welcome to the Salkaris Wargaming channel for this very short video to talk a bit about the last important updates for the open beta of Wargame Red Dragon. So, we've had a lot of a few, a few patches since the last video I made. Uh, most of the patch contents, the patch notes, are about balancing units, so I won't really talk about that because it's an ongoing process. So, uh, in my opinion, there is no really. Um, well, there's no real interest in talking about it because it'll probably change even more. So I'll ch I'll talk about the important changes. The first one is kind of a big addition, is the implementation of the AI in the open beta. So right now I'm playing against the medium AI. Uh, for now the AI is limited to only skirmish mode, so you with or against AI, and in the destruction mode. So basically... Uh, but what the developer says say is that the conquest mode will be available against the AI quite shortly and it will also be available in multiplayer. So what I understand is that the for now you can play only skirmishes, so with or you alone with or against AIs, but you should be able in um, normally in a foreseeable future to play with friends against AI. So what a lot of people know as com stomping, computer stomping. It's quite popular in RTS games. Uh, you know, well, some players aren't really keen uh, in, uh, in jumping into multiplayer. They are kind of quite afraid of the level they have, so they think they're going to get crushed if they play against normal players. So they'd rather just destroy AI for fun than play against other players and be stressed all the time. So it's quite a nice addition for those players. Uh, I just hope the AI will be up to the task. For now, it seems um, it seems it has a bit improved over Alan Battle. As you can see here, the, the AI had a tendency of creating um, balanced forces. So we have um, anti-tank vehicles with ATGMs over here. We have anti-air anti -air here. We have tanks here. And the thing I have to point out is that this isn't a pre-made deck. This is one deck I made that I used to play with the Red Dragons and that the AI is playing. So in the skirmish for now, you can choose the decks the AI are playing. You can choose between uh, three different, four different things. First, you can choose a random deck. Second, you can choose a random deck amongst the pre-made decks. So for, for now, it's just the US Battle Group and the USSR Battle Group. And you can choose among uh, a random deck among the uh, custom decks you made. And then, of course, you can select the particular deck you want. So in this instance, I selected my Red Dragon deck that I created and the AI is using it. So it's quite interesting in the sense that in the future, if you want to test a particular strategy or your skills against massive tank assaults, you will be able to create a deck for the AI with like five tank slots, five vehicle slots and only a few recons meaning no helicopters, no planes, no anti-air and just sending your tank to test your tank skills. So it's basically pretty interesting just to test a few things against an opponent that doesn't really care if it loses or not. So it's pretty nice. So that's basically the addition of the AI. Uh, other addition, which is more a, a an improvement of game mechanics, it's a modification on the supply system. Before, with uh, Wargame Island Battle, you had to take your supplies from the FOB with a truck or a helicopter, send it all the way to the front lines, resupply your units like this ATGM squad over here, and then once empty, send it all the way back. So helicopters were pretty nice because they were quite fast, but the big disadvantage is that once on the front line to resupply a unit that is uh, near the enemy, it's quite hard. The helicopter is seen by the entire world and can be shot down by anti-air that is not really far from the front line, so it's quite risky. The trucks are much more discreet. You can resupply a frontline unit, but the downside, of course, is that going back to the FOB, taking the road all the way back to the FOB, takes ages. So, the good thing that has been added right now in the last patch is the ability to resupply trucks with helicopters. So, basically, what do we want to do? Well, you've got a, an anti air over here using its ammunition quite fast, and you want to supply it. Then you have a truck following the anti air every time it moves forward. Of course, a helicopter can't do that. It has to hop every time. It's quite dangerous. So you've got trucks following the anti-air. Once your trucks are full or empty, sorry, you pull them back at a safe place, like say here, resupply them with helicopters and send them back. And the helicopters, once they are empty, go back to the FOB and back again. So helicopters can resupply trucks and bigger trucks can resupply smaller trucks. 
but that's a really good addition, allowing trucks to resupply the front line and helicopters to resupply the trucks, and they do the uh, uh, the 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 travel to the FOB and back to the front line, which is really really nice. So, in one of my games, I tried really to um, use these this this improvement and this strategy, and just to show you guys how I think it should work in the game and how I think Eugen Eugen systems want it to work. So. I focused on that and the game hopefully is really good so I hope you'll enjoy my next well my next and my first actually commentated replay uh, on my channel thanks for watching and oh I just forgot one thing the solo campaign is out only for the marshals so I was able to test in uh, exclusivity the campaign it's pretty nice uh, I was able to test the Hong Kong campaign so of course the negotiations between the Brits and the Chinese have gone awry and uh, war is declared between China and the Commonwealth uh, UK is holding Hong Kong and Canadian and Antarctic troops are coming to help and basically the campaign is quite nice but I'm not able to show, I'm not authorized to show you any screenshots or videos on the campaign right now so I have to wait that everyone has access to it and I'll make you a video uh, later on. So just what I have to say is that it's a turn by turn uh, campaign with sectors, a few nice additions have been made like the ability to see which maps uh, are on each sector so it's quite nice and other things but I'll show you that in another video. So it should come in uh, not too long from now. Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for my next video which should come really shortly about uh, one very nice commentated replay. Thanks for watching and see you soon.